Now to our ongoing profiles of the candidates for mayor. Cam Buckner is a Southside third term state representative who wants to leave Springfield to lead Chicago. He believes public safety is the first, second, and third priority for voters in this election. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov talked with him about how he'd make the city safer. And I'm a little bit nervous about where we are as a city. And 37 year old state representative Cam Buckner believes he can change its trajectory. First up, filling 1,600 police officer vacancies. Do you have any specific recruitment plans or specific ideas on how to do that? I think the, the issues with CPD actually start with leadership. Um, so not only do I think we need a new mayor, I think we need a new superintendent. And I think uh, from there we can begin to. Uh, reconfigure the, the department. That reconfiguration begins with beefing up detective ranks, but that would mean pulling patrol officers off the streets. So how do you fill that gap? Again, going back to my specific, how do you recruit new well, officers? Well, here's, here's the deal. Uh, all of those uh, vacancies don't have to be filled by officers, right? I've talked a lot about civilianizing certain functions within the department. Civilian CPD staffers who could, for example, work in a newly created internet intelligence unit to scour social media to help fight crime. How many civilian employees and how do you pay for them? The numbers are already, already in the budget, right? Um, we've got 1,500 officers that were budgeted for this year that we're not paying for right now, right? So this is not new money. Buckner talks a lot about reallocation, including making sure the CTA is patrolled as part of district beat patrols. When it comes to CTA safety, he also wants to connect all of the system's video cameras and create a text program for riders who spot trouble. Where do those texts go? to whatever this headquarters is, right, where people can be disseminated. Buckner's plan also includes increasing mental health responders and opening 20 new mental health clinics. And again, goes back to the money. Where does that money come from? This is once again a opportunity to pick up money that we've left on the table. I also asked Buckner about his two past DUIs. His probation for the most recent one is wrapping up soon. If there was a substance abuse problem, have you effectively managed it? And do you feel it would not interfere with your ability to lead the third biggest city in the entire country? Let me be very clear about this. I've been not only honest and, and open about my past mistakes, but I've been accountable. Right? I've done the actual work. This is not something you believe voters need to worry about and it's not controlling your life. That's right, way. absolutely. Buckner also wants to remap the city's police districts based on data and input from the community. He says that would enhance the city's police response. And the one thing people don't know about him, the former University of Illinois football player studied ballet for eight years as a child. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. You can watch all of Dana's stories and those interesting nuggets at the end of each one on all the candidates. Just go to our website, cbschicago.com.